this video, we're going to be covering the first move, or the first set of movements, in the tenth line of the Yang style Tai Chi Saber form. Now, this movement has a high kick in it, which is one way of doing the movement. If you are either unable to do that high kick or just don't want to do that high kick, then I'll show a variation that you can do that will allow you to go through the same movement, but without the kick, and it'll make it a little bit easier for you on the transition through the movement. To start with, I'm going to show the movement that has the high kick in it, and then after I do that a couple of times, I'm going to show you the variation a couple of times. As always, I'm going to begin as if I had started the form facing you. So again, directly toward you is south. Directly to my left is east. At the end of our last movement, we were facing directly to the east, and we had just kicked. So we were standing, we had done our kick, knee is high, right hand's out in front. You're going to reach across, and once again, grab the saber with the right hand. You're going to step in kind of a circle step toward southeast. So from here, we did our kick, grab the sword, step southeast. You're going to cut across with the sword. As you shift to the right foot, you're going to bring the left foot up to kick. And again, we're going to be kicking the hand. You want your hand up with the thumb facing down, so the palm is facing behind you. And you're going to kick with the inside portion of your foot. So this is a crescent kick across rather than a straight kick up. So from the end of our last movement, reach across, grab the sword. Step to the southeast, cut, crescent kick, circle the blade around the head, step down with the left foot, step out to the northwest with the right foot and push forward. What we're doing is we're turning more than 180 degrees. So we were facing east, we're gonna turn all the way around till we're facing northwest. So it's not even just going east to west, which would give us 180 degrees. We're going east all the way around to northwest. So it's a 225 degree turn that you're making there. So once again, from our last move, we did our kick, reach across, grab the sword, step to the southeast, cut across, crescent kick. Begin to deflect back around behind your head so the sword circles around the head. Step down with the left foot, Cut down over the left shoulder, stepping to the northwest, and as you shift forward, push out with the left hand. Now this movement is supposed to be done a little bit faster, so instead of doing it that speed, you want to try to pick up the pace as you go through after you've done it slow and kind of got the hang of it. So from our last move, our kick, we're facing east. And you're going to go through quickly, all the way through the movement. So spend a lot of time on it slow at first, making sure you're stepping in the right directions. After your kick, you're facing east. Reach across and grab the sword, step to the southeast. Cut toward the southeast. Your crescent kick is going to be aimed at the southeast. From there, the sword continues through. You set the left foot down. The sword turns, circles around the head. You step to the northwest, cut over the top, and push out. Now the variation for this. After we do our kick, reach across, grab the sword, step to the southeast, cut across. Instead of doing a crescent kick, just do a small sweep around with the foot to position it where it needs to be. Shift to the left, finish the circle around, cut down, and push through. So instead of sweeping around with that kick, all you're going to do is step pigeon toed, shift to the left foot, and then step out with the right foot. So let's put it all together. From our kick, reach across, grab the sword, step out to the southeast, cut, circle step in so you're pigeon toed, continue to cut, shifting to the left, circle the blade around, cut over the left shoulder, shift forward and push. As you can see, that's a much simpler option and it's a lot easier to go through, especially if you aren't comfortable with that kick. Now I'm going to demonstrate as if I had started the form this way. So east is directly away from you. We just finished our last move, which was a kick in front. Reach across, grab the sword. Step to the southeast, cut, crescent kick, sweep the blade around, shifting to the left foot, stepping to the northwest, chop down, and push out with the left hand. Again, from our last move, we have our kick. Reach across, grab the handle, step to the southeast, Cut, crescent kick, circle the blade around, shift to the left foot, step to the northwest, cutting down, 
and shifting forward. All together, that would be this. Now with the simpler variation, we have the kick, reach across, grab the handle, step to the southeast, cut across, step in with the left, so you're pigeon toed, shift to the left, circle the blade around, cut over the top, and shift forward as you push. One more time with the simpler variation, we do our straight kick from the last movement, grab the sword, step to the southeast, cut, step in so you're pigeon toed, shift to the left foot, turn the body toward the northwest, circle the blade around, cut over the top, and push toward the northwest. Now I'll demonstrate as if I'd started the form facing this way. So this is my south, this is my east. From our last movement, we were facing directly to the east. We had our kick, and then from here, you reach across and grab the sword. Now notice that I'm turning the sharp side of the blade away. If I leave the sharp side up, if I just reach across and grab the handle, then I'm gonna be swinging with the flat side of the blade when I swing out. So it's not gonna be a cut, it's gonna be a slap with the side of the blade if I do that. And I don't wanna do that. So before I grab that sword, I'm gonna rotate my hand, my left hand, so it's palm up. When I do that, it turns the sharp side of the blade away from me. That way when I grab with the right hand and cut out, I'm cutting with the sharp side of the blade. So we just did our kick, turn the blade away from you, grab it with the right hand. Step to the southeast, cutting, crescent kick, turn to the northwest, circling the blade around, chop down, and push out, facing to the northwest. Again, after the kick, turn the blade out, grab it with the right hand. Step to the southeast, cut, crescent kick, to the northwest, chop down and push. All together from our last movement, which was the kick, we cut, and come through. Now with the variation, we just finished our kick, we reach across, grab the sword, step to the southeast, cut through, step in pigeon toed with the left foot, continue around with the blade, turning it, circling around the head, step to the northwest with the right foot, chop down, and push out. One more time with the variation, we just finished our kick, turn the blade out, reach across, grab the sword, step to the southeast, shift to the right foot as you cut, Circle in with the left, so you're pigeon toed, shift to the left, continue around with the sword, deflecting, circling around the head, cut down, and push forward to the northwest. Now I'll demonstrate as if I'd started the form facing this way. So this is south, directly towards you is east. I just finished the last movement of the form, which was the kick. I reach across, grab the sword, step to the southeast, cut, crescent kick, Continue the cut, shifting to the left foot, circle around the head, chop down, and push out to the northwest. After our kick, turn the blade out, reach across, grab the sword. From here, step to the southeast, cut, crescent kick, shift to the left, circle the blade around, chopping over the left shoulder, shifting forward, pushing out with the left hand to the northwest. From the last movement, which was the kick, all together, kick, all together, come up, kick. Now with the variation. So we just finished our kick, reach across, grab the sword. Step to the southeast, cut, circle the left foot in so you're pigeon toed. Continue to cut, shifting to the left foot, circle the sword over your head, chop over the left shoulder, stepping to the northwest, and pushing. Once more with the variation. So we just finished our last movement, which was that kick. Reach across, grab the sword. Step to the southeast, cut, circle step in, shift to the left, circle the sword around, cut over the left shoulder as you push forward. That's all that there is to the first movement of the tenth line of this form. I hope you found this video very helpful. Thank you so much for watching.
So I want to tell you all about the latest product from the Pure Trim Company, at least this is the latest one as of the time of this filming. It's called Liver Master, and it's basically an herbal blend for your liver. I'll tell you what I've noticed since I've started using it. Um, it's supposed to be used on like a 90-day kind of liver program that you can go on. And what I've noticed is that I sleep better and my energy seems to be a little bit more even through the day instead of having a lot of peaks and valleys, it tends to just kind of carry through. So I don't know if you'll have the same um, experience, but it might be worth trying out. So you can find out more about Liver Master, what's in it, what it's used for, if you visit the website that's at the bottom of the screen. I hope you try it out and I hope you learn to love it as much as I do. Check it out, Liver Master.